A H S here. Meghan Markle, she needs to stop pretending like she been to the cookout or she will ever attend the cookout, man. I know she's biracial, but she's more on the white side. This guy's come on and said, man, she's more on the white side, man. She needs to stop talking shit about black people, man. Enough is enough. We're tired of it, man. We are tired of it. Let's think this uncle from page six. Here we go with Meghan Markle again. Talking shit about black people. Meghan Markle admits she can be particular slams angry black woman myth. Who the hell gonna say she's she's an angry black woman? This this, this could light a, it's light 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 as could be, man. Meghan Markle admits she's afraid of saying what she wants out of fear that she will be perceived as a stereotypical angry black woman. No, Meghan Markle, you're afraid you'll want to mess up your bag. You'll want to mess up all those uh, sponsorship deal. You want to be politically correct as possible. You will never, ever be a Kanye West. Kanye West lost his Adidas deal. No way would Meghan Markle say some foolish shit like that. No way, no how. I, in particular, the Duchess of Sussex, who is biracial? No shit, man. No shit. She's biracial. No shit, man. No shit. She told the Archetype podcast guest Issa Rae in the Tuesday episode, I think at high tide rises all ships. We're all going to succeed. Maybe say all females going to succeed. She don't care about males. So let's make sure it's really great cause. It's a sheer success for everyone, all the females. Your team effort. But Marco... Ex express how she uh, she's often terrified to speak her mind because of people how people may react. Who the hell want to hear what she got to say, man? Who the hell? You know she ain't gonna say nothing crazy. She ain't gonna mess up her bag like Kanye West. That's how Kanye West messed up his bag, talking about that crazy shit, man. Megan Marco ain't gonna say nothing about the Jews, the gays. She'll say some shit about the black folks though, hundred percent. She she talk greasy about the black folks, man. Talking about angry black women myth, man. Look at, this, look at this chick, man. This chick is... Look at this chick, man. Who the hell gonna say she has an angry black woman, man? Come on, man. Beggar Barker, man. Stop, stop the charade, man. I will find myself cowering and tiptoeing into a room around all white people. He just ain't definitely in the cookout. She said, adding that she will sometimes say a sentence where the irritation goes up like a question. Man, this chick, man. I'm gonna tell her ass, man. You're like, oh my God, stop. Stop whispering and tiptoeing around. Let's say what is you need. You're allowed to, to set a boundary. You're allowed to be clear. It does not make you demanding. It does not make you difficult. It makes you clear. She all got shit to say about black folks, man. She never say shit about those all uh, the white boys shooting up the schools, man. Never have some shit to say about them. Biracial lies. In this in this episode title, up ended the angry black woman myth. Marco forty one. Ask Ray thirty seven. Where does she feel? She's allowed to be angry. The insecure star responded, absolutely not. Marco also shared that she was shocked after reading the book Algorithm of Oppression, which, which explores how search engine reinforce racism. Jesus, man, this chick, man. Who the hell race against this biracial chick, man? I was actually shocked. Did you know this? I keep nudging my husband as we are sitting there in bed. This is the, the white savior. She recall referencing Prince Harry, her white savior. Walking hand in hand with her white savior, Prince Harry, Simp Harry. Shortly after Marco and Harry, 38, officially, officially resigned from their royal duties in 2021, they decided it was time to make, make, make that bag, the Colin Kaepernick bag. She was accused of bullying palace staffer. I believe that shit, man. Sources claims at a time that the Suits alum had brought royal employees to tears while living at Kensington Palace following her. 2018 went into to sip Harry. Marco denied all claims of bullying through a sports. You guys say that she got to deny that shit. Oh, I admit it. I bullied those motherfuckers who said she was saddened by the latest attack on her character, particular as someone who has been targeting a bully herself. <sniffs> Jesus. Harry famously slammed the press and the internet told for constantly attacking his then girlfriend. In 2016, his booty call. Marco, meanwhile, revealed in 2021 that she had experienced suicidal thoughts. <sniffs> Jesus, man, lying motherfucker. In a time leading up to her and Duke of Sussex Royal exit and moved to California to make a whole bunch of money. 
and live in that big ass mansion. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not buying none of this chick. Say, man, this chick is full of shit, man. She's full of shit, man. Full of shit, nigga Marco. <laughs> That's the something right there. Mega Marco is full of shit. 